Hello! This is Teacher Lasia. <laughs> Although I'm doing a video on Cricut, I'll just refer myself to as Teacher Lasia because a lot of the videos I'll be doing is probably going to be centered around VIP kids or magic ears. Well, I guess I'm lying. I'll do a lot of other DIYs, but whatever. Today I'll be Teacher Lasia. Alright, so I've been getting a lot of inquiries on my Cricut since I posted it on facebook and um a handful of groups i love it i cannot believe that i have gone this long without knowing that it exists i'm like i've never even heard of this i mean also clothes you know try to get all the sewing machine perks that i can get i'm still working on getting an embroidery machine but i never hardly stop I never heard of a cricket and then once I looked it up I was like oh my gosh I have to have this have this could not stop could not talk myself out of buying it like I had to go and get it I even bought it and kept it in the box it was like just in case I really couldn't afford this I'm gonna take it back but I never made it to Friday I ended up opening it up and I have made a zillion things which I'll post the pictures at the end um but for now I'm just gonna make a short video because I'm going to do my Mother's Day card and this one I actually did not design I got it for free off of the projects page and I just changed the picture so I'll show you where I got it and then I will let you watch me um it's already pretty much done but i'll just show you you know how you make it and how you switch out and just how easy it is to um use the cricut and like i said i'll post pictures at the end i think i made a video on how i made one of the shirts so i have to look through my videos and see if i did and i'll post that one as well um also just look forward to other videos coming up about vip kids versus magic ears um i'm also gonna have an interview at another one called say abc so i'll let you know how that goes on thursday um or or it's wednesday one of the two and um like i said i'll be, just be posting a lot of diys between sewing and cricket making <gasps> you will see more so, um, and it'll probably be easier to refer you to a video than trying to retype everything a zillion times, um, for messages in my inbox. Um, so I hope you enjoy this video and I hope it kind of gives you a little insight of what the Cricut can do. All right. So this is what the design space looks like. And as you can see, I've done a few. I am not a Delta FYI. I am an AKA, but I made this for my best friend, so that's why it's up here. You see my pretty and pink Alpha Cap Alpha? <laughs> um, I also made shirts for me, um, my husband, and my kid. So his was the boss, mine was the real boss, his was the actual boss. And um, I work at a middle school, so I made myself a shirt. But this is what I'm showing you today. It is the Mother's Day project. Oh, first let me show you where I got it from. Cause this one I did not design like on my own from scratch. I actually went into, that's not the right button. I went, if you go home, I'm not even sure if you just saw what I did. Um, and you scroll down, there's a zillion projects. Um, so I typed in, let me see if I can find it. Cause I did this on my iPad, which it's the same but different like all the buttons are in different places so I kind of struggle when I come here and I'm like I can't find anything okay so I typed in Mother's Day and it was this one so oh this one actually wasn't free it was $1.99 the one I was going to do for free I couldn't alter it like I wanted to so it's the mother's um silhouette mother's day card um it was more of a victorian style but i mean my mom has an afro so i switched up the lady to an afro and so it tells you the material that you need to go buy which i did not stick to these exact ones i'll show you the card sock that i bought um i have this stuff the um, cutting mat the scoring stylus the weeder I didn't do adhesive. I think I'm just going to use my glue gun to put it all together. Um, 
And yeah, so then it tells you how to prepare it, how to cut it, and how to assemble it, which I will refer back to this once I get there. All right, so this is how I did it. And then you would just click customize, but I already have it in my projects. So I'm gonna go back to my, yeah, I'm gonna learn how to use the one on the computer one day. I use my tablet all the time, most of the time. So I forget. Got it. As you can see, I'm still working on this myself. So I'm just gonna click on customize just so you can see what it looks like up here. Um. So, hey, where's my Afro lady? Oh. Okay, so let me move this backwards. Move back. Okay, there she is. So I switched the Victorian lady for an Afro lady, and she's going to be in gold. Um, so just to keep, well, you can set your color to whatever you're going to, um, whatever you're going to cut in, just to keep yourself, you know, like on track when you're cutting most of the time I don't change my colors because I know what I want you know in what color so she's gonna be gold so I just made her yellow um this one can stay the same color because I kept that this one is not gonna be pink it's actually gonna be like a flower color um so you don't have that option so you just do it pink and then the background I did keep green so the only thing I changed was the gold and I did use the same type of flower pattern um so you know that's that it's it's basically done so then you click make and then it pulls up all the mats because it is going to have to cut five times so this was the background of the card this is the afro lady this is the um little flower thing and you know it shows you so you remember like oh let me switch it out for the green one um this is the envelope which I did actually do that do that another color I just don't remember what and then um, this is the actual card so we'll start at cut one so let's go over to the machine um while I have you guys up here I'm going to try something really quick because it's Bluetooth but I always have it plugged so I'm about to see if it will connect via Bluetooth piece of paper I should have paid attention so that's the blue I think that's what color the card is that's the cream um the green the pink and the glitter for the afro lady and then that's going to be the card So I did buy a new set of mats. I do have a mat, but I just bought this. Two came in a pack. Michael's is running a sale. So I got them. And I kind of messed up my last one because I put fabric on it. Which you can use fabric, but um, I should have got one specifically for fabric, not the one that I use for everything. So there is a 
Let me see how I can angle this. Okay, so there is a clear plastic on the top of this that you pull off. So first, First, I am doing the cream. All right, and hopefully I put this in a spot where I don't get all this messiness because I wasn't paying attention when I bought this. Right. I did. All right, so you pull that off, save it, because this is sticky, so you wanna, um, Keep it that way. I'm gonna place this here. I'm so sad. I wish I had some other card stock. Hopefully, like most of the stuff covers this up. All right, so you place it up there, and make sure it's stuck on there well, and you put it on the feeder. All right, so we're gonna go back to the laptop. And I'm sorry, cause you're seeing me through this. Um. You're gonna scroll down. I have to purchase this. Um, so I'm just gonna authorize it. And I signed up for their um, Cricut Access so that I can get a lot of the fonts for free. Cause sometimes I don't um, hand letter out my stuff. I just use their fonts. Um, so I'll show you something like that I hand letter in something that I just use their fonts. So I'm gonna click continue. Come on. Okay, so yeah, I had to figure out how to Bluetooth it without connecting it. I have no idea. where it has to sit all right so it told me to load my fine point blade which i have load the mat and i believe i also need the score oops the score because i recall it saying that i needed a score but i'm gonna click through all of them because um okay so it'll tell me it's not until mat four that I'll need the scoring stylus. So it tells you, um, and also number four. All right, so like I said, I'm kind of learning this stuff too because I haven't used everything. Um, make sure, because it'll show you material set to iron on. That's the last thing I did. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna change it to card stock because that's what this is. So as you can see now, it changed it to card stock up here in the corner. All right, and then it tells you load tools and mat. So you need your point blade, which is always in there. That's this side. And I don't need my scoring stylus yet, so that's empty. And then it tells me, as you can see on the Cricut, this is blanking. Blinking, this is the load mat. So I'll load the mat. And then it blinks again to tell you to start. And then it gets to cutting. It didn't even use that much. So I didn't have to worry about all of that mess. Um, and I guess I could have used a smaller. Anyways, um, you unload the mat by pressing the button. And then you can take it off. Pretty hard. 
so I suppose you can probably use a light grip on this that way this won't happen it did should suggest a standard grip but my other one is a light grip all right so yeah because this standard grip is pretty all right so there's that I think I'm gonna switch over to my other group because that one I think is a little too powerful. And so this is the light grip. It's blue. Well, like I said, this one I got stuff all over it, but cutting on the front so it shouldn't be a problem so next is my afro lady so you do the same thing you click um i only need the blade for this all right so i load my glitter paper now this one can probably go on the other one but yeah i don't feel like switching again I'm gonna put this one on cardstock plus. There's a dot in between all of them. So there's like cardstock and then a dot and then bonded fabric. Cause this one is a thicker cardstock cause it's glitter. Um, I put it in between. So I'm gonna do the same thing. Load it, feed it, and start. So next, it tells me is my green. So I'll grab my green, load it. Switch back to regular card stock. it and start light grip is what I would suggest over the standard grip.
to uh let's see I might have to load it first and I think it'll move over okay perfect all right so I open this I put that in there uh oh all right don't push it hard that kind of scared me you just do it enough for that to click in hopefully I didn't mess anything up and then you can start so it says it's scoring first which it is making the shape out of the um, score pencil first, which it makes it easier to pull out is what I read when it comes time to cut it. And once it's done with the score, it will pull it up. see that so I can know to place this here all right so now we can pull this up So far, we have this, that, and that. Oh, you're like, lady, I can't see nothing you're doing. I know. All right, so, so far it's coming along. The last. <laughs> were to kind of match because I totally screwed up and I had to get some more um, of this because I messed up yesterday, cut the wrong piece on the wrong one, although this isn't the same flower pattern because freaking I went back and it was no longer there. I'm like, maybe I bought the last one yesterday and didn't know it. Harley, leave those alone, please. Thank you. You're so sweet. Thank you. All right, so I am currently working on my iPad. Because I don't know what's up with my makerspace on the computer, but it's being so slow and I can't take it, so. Um, back here, so yesterday we already printed that, I printed everything, but I, I, I did print this, you might not see it in the video because I'm probably cut it out, so I'm just talking about it, um, on this piece of paper, because I totally messed it up, alright, so, Come back here, put my score back in here, and I did that little thing again by accident. All right, I'm going to continue. Card stock. Have both my tools in. Okay, now it's going to work. 
like it's magic. space all right so i bought this glue because it's craft bond glue from my lobby i also bought the square that it mentioned all right i think the part i was already supposed to put a square on i glued it down so i might be able to skip the square part because I already glued it down, but I think it's supposed to kind of pop out, but that doesn't really matter to me too much. But if you do kind of want that pop out effect, then make sure you use the adhesive squares. where you're supposed to fold so make sure you fold on that usually just like yesterday I thought it was me but I don't think it scored this side but if it doesn't that's weird because that's the side you need help with most all right so fold this on the inside of here so you want to put some uh -oh, glue around the edges and let me see where exactly so I don't it's probably easier to put it on here Sure you line it up pretty well. Flip it over. Uh oh. Oh, don't flip it over. It's kind of why I like the glue gun because um, it's like automatic. I'm trying to rub all this glue off my hands. some more glue. I might stick me some hot glue up in these corners so it'll stay. I don't want 
my car falling apart. Prop here, I think. I should probably look at the picture. I mean, I suppose you can put it wherever you want. So I'm gonna kind of sit mine like right here. And I'm gonna use my hot glue gun because I don't like that glue. Takes too long. nice and shiny and then you have your inside to write whatever lovely things you want to say there it is so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed hope this gives you an idea of how the Cricut works and like I said, I absolutely love it. And you'll see pictures at the end of um, things I have already made. And like I said, I'll have some upcoming videos on more things like how you can do print and cut, um, how you can do vinyl, and also um, how to do the shirts with the iron on. Alright, and once again, like I said, I hope you enjoy. Please subscribe if you have not, and I will see you next time.